Greetings, brothers and sisters. We thank the one true living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being the sender and the teacher of holy prophets and of holy apostles. We're glad for the way of holiness. And it's beautiful to see all of you here this afternoon. We we thank God moreover for the many blessings that he continues to bestow upon the truth of God family. To all of our brothers and sisters that are watching abroad, we thank God for you again. This is the message for the last days. Is holiness or hell? Nothing in between it. No space, no gaps. Know nothing. Amen. It's just holiness or hell. You know, you give it time, a person would always declare whose side they're on. Yes, Whether you're on God's side or on the devil's side, what's in a person, it's going to come out of them. <clears throat> they just take the right. Thing to push it out. If you're on God's side, God will allow something to take place that will cause you to declare what you believe in and who you believe in. You either will deny God or accept Him. I never want to deny God and, and, and nothing. Many have denied God, and as I travel around the world, I find many of God's people are ashamed of him. Don't want people to know what they really believe. So they deliberately try to mingle in, scared to hurt somebody's feelings, and afraid of what different ones think of them. Yeah. I don't care what nobody think of me. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> My concern is I never want God's love turned to hate. Yeah. That's right. That's right. People love turning to hate. Well, get used to that because that don't mean nothing. Yeah. But God love turned to hate. You lost. Imagine living a doomed life. Can you imagine such? Being lost while you live. This is why the word of God says, He that hath an ear, let him hear. What God, that's the spirit, says to the church. We want to get these baptisms out the way and glad for the visiting minister here from Florida, we thank God for him. God willing, I hope if he don't have to get away quickly, I would love to talk to him after I'm done shooting you. Nice. <clears throat> nice. If there's any living left. <laughs> Wonderful. Amen. Our interest is your soul. Yes. Now I want to remind everybody that the International Holy Convocation is coming up first weekend of August. We hope to see all of you in Greensboro, North Carolina, around the world. All of my subscribers, we have over 300,000 subscribers, and we have millions of viewers. And I hope to see as many thousands of you as possible jam-packed into Greensboro to eat. Amen. Amen. And man, we're going all those miles to feed you. You might as well come all those miles to eat. Because we got something good to give you. And God's word is always good even when you don't feel good. I want to remind everyone that Saturday at 3 o'clock, please don't forget, there's a mandatory church business meeting. I'm doing a recap on the business meeting that many of you missed during our youth conference. 
So please be there. You might as well come ready for service at 3 o'clock because service starts at 4 o'clock. So you might as well come ready. No need to come. Got to run out and get dressed. You might as well be ye also ready. Yes! So you can uh, get fed after the business meeting is over. To all of my viewers throughout Europe, time is moving quick. Remember, in September is our combined European conference. I'll be glad to see the Sanks and the many countries of Europe as we merge into Amsterdam. Usually we have our conferences in different parts of Europe, but I remember there was a time there was only one place in Europe, and that was High Wycombe, England. Now it is several countries and many more constantly coming. Well, the Bible says God added daily such as should be saved. And I hope many brothers and sisters from America and abroad are able to be with us in Europe and Amsterdam for the first combined conference. Uh, also, to you that are in Jamaica, God willing, in October, we have the Jamaican conference, our first conference in Trinidad, and also our conference in the Bahama Islands, God willing. All right, let us update you. <coughs> we have a one-week report here, of baptisms, 14 in headquarters, five in Bronx, New York, Three in Baltimore, Maryland, one in Raleigh, North Carolina, one in Rocky Mount, one in Charleston, South Carolina, two in Columbia, six in Memphis, 15 in Orlando, Florida, three in Naples, Florida, one in Tallahassee, one in Detroit, 21 in North Chicago, five in Federal Way, Washington, four in Los Angeles, California, one in Baytown, Texas, six. Dallas, Texas, three, Houston, Texas, one, Monroe, Louisiana, International Baptisms, two, and Durban, South Africa, five, and Andrea, Pradesh, India, three, on the island of St. Lucia, the Fiji Islands, I believe is Nade, Fiji Islands, 28 was baptized there, 132 souls in one week's time, so we thank God for that. God willing, I do hope next year I get a chance to make my South Pacific tour. We have churches throughout South Pacific, near Japan, near Vietnam, near China. We have the Crook Islands, Cook Islands. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to correct that quick because right. some of the saints from there wrote me and said, we're not crooks, Pastor Jennings. <laughs> So it's the Cook Islands, Fiji Islands, Samoan Islands, Solomon Islands. The first churches of our Lord Jesus Christ is on so many islands of the Pacific, and we have a good size following in Honolulu and the Hawaiian Islands. And they're asking me, please, when are you coming to Hawaii? Well, God willing, keep tuned, we'll let you know. God be our helper. Pretty sure a whole lot of saints wouldn't mind going there. <laughs> Amen. I have my wife and I, we would go there for a vacation. I remember when we first went, she said, I wonder how long this is going to last to go to a place that nobody know you. <laughs> so we was walking and holding hands and looking and whatnot. Nice. She <laughs> <laughs> yes, Logan, it is nice. <laughs> and uh, I believe Hawaii is five hours, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's behind. Uh -huh. So when I was fishing through the television channel looking for some gospel to be preached by somebody, uh -huh. <laughs> and I found the all Hawaiian apostolic church, women preachers, Divorce and remarry, no head covering, and when you know it, there was United Pentecostal. So, as we would go out walking, I'm looking at buildings. Yeah. And she would grab my hand and squeeze it. She said, look at you. Yeah. I said, I can't help it. Right. 
Everywhere I go, I'm thinking about feeding the people. Wonderful. The world is in a loss predicament. In fact, the prophet Amos, by God's permission, God says it this way through him. That it will be a famine in the land. Yes. Not for bread, nor for water, but for hearing the word of God. Yes. That famine is here now. Yes. That's true. People are starving, and this is why you find so many people making their exodus out of all type of religions. I talk one-on-one -on -one to hundreds of people who would give me their testimony. And sometimes I, it isn't much that surprised me, but some of the things and religions that some of the people came out of uh -huh. and how long they've been in it. You know, when you're in something for years, it is hard to see when you're in darkness. That's true. Until the Lord God start dealing with you. When God start dealing with you, I don't care how long you've been in it. Only then your eyes start to come open and your understanding been enlightened. That's why before you yell amen, amen, amen and get the clapping, yeah. listen first. Yes. Hear me good. Listen first. That way you don't witness to error and be a partaker of somebody else's sins. Give me the book of Revelation. I want to work on hearing. I want to build on that all through the Bible. Amen. You know, John the Apostle brother of James, sons of Zebedee. Yes. He walked with Jesus, talked with them, ate with them, handled them. Was there when he rose from the dead the third day. Uh -huh. Thank God. And being a student of a master teacher. Yes. He was on the Isle of Patmos. I don't read where there were any other apostles with him. He was there with God and God with him. And there was a repeated statement that the Lord kept declaring to the apostle that is good then and just as good now. That's right. Listen at this. In Revelation chapter 2, and we'll start reading in verse 7. Hear this. He that hath an ear. <clears throat> he that hath an ear. Notice the language of the Bible. He that hath an ear. What do God want him to do? Let him hear. What? What the Spirit saith unto the church. Well, we have ears. Right, right. Plural. Yeah. More than one. But the Lord says, he that hath an ear. He wants you to listen with a single mind. Nice. Focus, Focus on what is being said. That's right. Focus on how it's being wow. said. That's it. And then judge yourself by what is being said. Don't look at nobody else. That's right. Look at you. And that's something that most of us don't want to do because we're scared what we're going to see because it's more easier to pass the buck on somebody else. That's right. I want to build on hearing and listening. I want you to now. follow me in the Bible and I want you to see the importance that's right. because you only can be saved hmm. if you keep remembrance. That's right. What is preached unto you? In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we'll start at verse 1. All right, follow me. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. Moreover, brethren, I declare. That's what I'm doing by God's permission. I have a declared Hallelujah. gospel. That's yes. right. And I'm declaring it by God's help. That's Moreover. Right. Moreover. Meaning over and over and over again. That's right. 
Word of God said he never left himself without a witness. That's right. That means whenever God sent men, if all of those men die out, yeah. he's going to raise up some more. That's right. Until he come for creation. Amen. For declared he, he never, that's, that's encouraging. That's encouraging. Left himself without a witness. Never. And every witness that he get, he give them all the same thing. That's right. God ain't never sent a man out and that man don't know who God is. God ain't never sent a man out and that man don't know how many gods it is. That's right. No. Before God sent him out, God got to straighten him out first. Oh, yeah. No, no. You know, before God sent Abraham out, Abraham, he went out one day in the book of Joshua mm -hmm. and looked up and saw the sun and the moon, I believe it was. That's right. And he thought that was God. And Abram saw the sun. Listen at this. Now he the, saw, listen, I wanted to show you this, the ignorance of the man before right. he sinned. That's right. Mm, I want to show you how ignorant a man is before he sinned. Amen. Listen at this. Now in the book of Joshua chapter 9, and we'll start at verse 12. <coughs> yes. And the Lord gave Abram an understanding heart. The Lord gave Abram an understanding heart. And he knew all the works of that generation were vain. Yes. And all that their gods were vain and were of no Hear, 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 hear this. And he knew. He knew. All the works of all that generation. All the deeds of that generation. Were vain. That's what I'm seeing. That's right. <coughs> all the works of this generation that's not following God, what is it? Vain. Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. That's why I'm not impressed with nobody with what they have and what no. you're getting. That's right. Whatever you own, I don't care. Your car, if you got a fleet of cars, a mansion, if you're a millionaire, that's wonderful. <laughs> but uh, having God is better. It's better. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Amen. Listen at this. All the works of that generation. All the deeds. Were vain. Of the generation and the days of Abraham. Then mount to nothing. And that all their gods. All their gods. Were vain. Yes. And were of no avail. Yeah. All their gods. I want this to be good for all of you that got more than one. That's right. All of your gods. Were vain. Are vain. And were of no avail. They can't do nothing. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's why you that got more than one god, when I look at your work, and see that all your gods, you can't get help from none of them. Oh, no. Amen. And I look at this one God, how he's taking this gospel and just hitting one country after the other, one nation after the other. I don't need a lot of gods uh, to do this. No. No, no. All you need is one. One. Right. Amen. David didn't have a sling full of stones. Oh, no. That's right. One smooth stone. Yeah. Smooth stone. Thank God and it took Goliath down all the way down. That's right. All right, Williams. And that all their gods were vain. Yeah. And were of no avail. Uh -huh. And Abram saw the sun shining upon the Listen earth. Listen at this. Amen. <coughs> Abram saw the sun. Saw the sun. Shining upon the earth. Shining upon the earth. And Abram said unto himself. What? Surely now this sun that shines upon the earth is God. Ha! Amen. You see how dumb you are before God sent you? That's right. Mind you a dumb thing. That's right. Do you hear what he says? And Abram said unto himself. All right, I don't himself, know what you've done back there, but give me back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Glory to God, you bring it back. Take me back. Come on, William. What did he say? And Abram said unto himself. Abram said to himself. Surely now the son. The sun that shines upon the earth that shine upon the earth is God. He said, that's God. And that's you know, folks are sun gazers and star gazers and planet worshipers now. Right now. No. See, the God's people don't believe in horoscopes. No. 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 Eh? no. We don't believe in that trash. No. no. You folk marrying somebody because one is a Pisces. <clears throat> one is an Aries, one is a lion, one is a bull, one is Aquarius, one is a tiger, one is a roach, one is a termite. That's right. I don't care nothing about that folly. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. We're not interested in that. No. Our interest is thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. All right. 
Surely now <coughs> the sun that shines upon the earth is God. Yes. And him will I serve. Him will I serve. <coughs> Give me some water room temperature. I don't want this ice cold stuff. What is it? Surely. Surely now the sun that shines upon <coughs> the earth is God. Is God. And him will I serve. Him will I serve. And Abram served the sun in that day. And he hold it, hold it. Come Amen. On. Jesus said, you wish up, you know not what. You know not what. When you're ignorant, you'll do the same thing. That's right. Abraham began to do what? Abram served the sun. He served the sun. In that day. Mm -hmm. And he prayed to him. Who that remind you of, Williams? Reminds me of me, Pastor. That's you, viewers. Amen. These blind preachers got you praying to the Father and the Son. Got you praying the two. That's, that's what I did. Got you praying to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Got you praying to three. Right. Only one God to pray to. That's right. And we call them by name. That's right. Who will take God and Jesus Christ is he. That's right. We don't pray to preachers. We're not hitting our head and our chest and all of that. No, no, no. No. We ain't bowing to no elephant, no monkey, no big rat, no fat belly ball headed statue who you call Buddha. <laughs> That's right. We ain't looking at no picture of Elijah Muhammad and talking about that's the Messiah. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're not looking at no picture of some man who you call God, Master Fadad Muhammad. No, we're not doing that. No, no. And we ain't looking at no picture of some man who looked like John Lennon from the Beatles who you call Jesus. That's right. None of that. That's right. Do you hear this? And Abram served the son in that day. You see how ignorant Abraham was at this time? That's right. He thought the sun that shined upon the earth was God, and he God. started serving it, and what else? And he prayed to him. He prayed to the sun. And when evening came, the sun <laughs> set as usual. When the evening came, the sun set as, as usual. And Abram said within himself, What did Abraham realize? Surely this cannot be God. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Amen. But he had to stay observant. That's right. Surely, surely this cannot this, be God. This can't be God. It just can't be. That's right. All right, what's the next thing? And Abram still continued to speak within himself. Yes. Who is he who made the heavens and the earth? Who created upon Wait a earth? minute. Wait a minute. Who is he? Viewers. That's the way you think. That's right. Did God make the heavens and the earth? Did Jesus make the heaven and the earth? How many made it? He won. That's right. That's right. Just one made it. That's right. One scripture says that uh, have we not all one, one father, father, have not one God created us? That's, That's right. Old Testament. That's Old Testament. Then the New Testament says how God created everything by Jesus Christ. That's right. Now, how many creators do we have? Amen. Just one. Jesus Christ is the creator. That's right. Why? God is he. That's right. Amen. God wasn't on one end. I remember the scripture that says how he spread forth uh, the heavens as a curtain. As a curtain. Yeah. And one false prophet wrote me and said he used that scripture. He said literally God was on one end of the curtain. Jesus was on the other end of the curtain spreading out the heavens and the earth like a mother making up her bed. What a fool. What a fool. Yes! One creator. One savior. That's right. One redeemer. That's right. One father of all. In all. In all. Through all. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? And Abram still continued to speak within himself. That's you viewers. Amen. You going through the same. Many of you here. Undoubtedly doing the same thing, thing. self-talking. That's right. Mm -hmm. Counseling within yourself. That's right. And what is it? Who is he who made the heavens and the earth? Who is it? Who is he? Who is he? Well, he knew it was one. That's right. Notice Abraham didn't ask, who are they? Who is he who made the heavens and who the earth? Who is he that made the heavens and the earth? Who created upon earth? Who created upon, upon earth? Where is he? <laughs> Amen. Where is he? Where is he? 
Where is he? And night darkened over him. And night darkened over him. Night time came. And he lifted up his eyes. Now he's looking up, back up in heaven again. Toward the west, north, south, and east. And what? And he's saw- still looking for God. Yeah. That's right. That's what right. else? And he saw that the sun had vanished from the earth. Sun went down. And the day became dark. Day became dark. And Abram saw the stars and moon before him. <laughs> Now he see the stars and moon before him. Now the moon is before him. And he said, surely this is the God who created the whole earth. He's still on his journey, isn't he? That's right. Seeking. That's right. Looking for God. Looking. That's right. Thought it was the sun. That was wrong. Mm -hmm. Thought it was the moon. That was wrong. And stars. Thank God. Oh, I love how God have this thing out of mind. That's right. Listen at this. And Abram saw the stars and moon before him. Yes. And he said, surely this is the God who created the whole earth as well as man. Yes. And behold, these his servants are gods around him. Wait a minute. Villains, get this. Give chapter verse, William. Now, Jasher chapter 9. I'm at verse 17. He saw the and moon. And Abram saw the stars. And he declared the moon to be God. That's right. And when he looked at the stars, what did he say the stars were? Surely this is the God who created the whole earth as well as man. Yes. And behold, these his servants. These his servants. Are gods around him. He thought the stars was God's around him around the one true living God that's wrong right. that's right if it was wrong then you know it's wrong Still. now that's right him and us that's right Abraham the father of faith father of faith that's right this was before he had before he became that father that's of right. faith that's right he was searching, I believe it's written, who by searching can find, find out, out God. That's right. He thought it was the sun that shined. Wrong. Wrong. Because that was created by God. Right. He thought it was the moon at night. Wrong. That was wrong. That was a lesser light created by God. That's right. And then look at his understanding or void of understanding mm-hmm. what he thought the stars was. And behold, these his servants are gods around him. <laughs> he thought the stars was a bunch of servants around God. That's right. All right, what happened? And Abram served the moon and prayed to it all, all that right. night. Wait a minute. Look how zealous he was. That's right. That's you, viewers. You yeah. think one thing is God. You think another thing is God. That's and you start praying to that. You find out that's wrong. You start praying to that. You find out that's wrong. You start praying to that. Yeah. You find out that's wrong. All of it's wrong. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. That's why Jesus come along here who was God manifest in the flesh and say you wish up you know not what. That's right. Meaning you don't know what you're doing. That's right. Abraham at this time he ain't know what he was doing. And Abraham, Anytime you pray unto the sun that shine which is the greater light mm-hmm. the moon at night which is the lesser light and the stars, the stars and you're praying to that and wish up in that you don't know what you're doing. That's you right. may be sincere but God help your blind heart you don't know what you're doing. That's right. All right. And Abram served the moon and prayed to it all that night. And And in the morning when it was light Hmm. and the sun shone upon the earth as usual. What? Abram saw all the things that the Lord God had made upon earth. Now, the moon, now the sun is shining again. That's right. And now Abraham see that. All the things things that the Lord God had made that the Lord God made on earth, and Abram said unto himself, "What? Surely these are not gods that made the earth and all mankind. There is nothing that is created is God. That's right. That's right. I want to say you're wrong there. Man is created, and the Bible says you are gods. That means you got the title God. That's it." But you're not God like the God of heaven. No. I have said ye are God. Listen at this. In Psalms 82 and at verse 6. Because I know a heathen is ready to post that scripture. (laughs) That's right. And I'm at the I'm I'm at the batter's mound ready to knock it clean out the pot. That's right. Listen at this. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. What? I have said ye are God. Undoubtedly a nation of Islam. Uh, fella is listening. Well, the, the black man is God. The black man is of the devil. That's it. That's like the white one. That's right. The black man, the white man, the yellow man, the brown man, the red man was made in God's image. That's it. 
Now when the Bible says you are God, that doesn't mean you're equal to the creator. No. no. You're just a creature of the creator. That's right. And now the creature must be subject to his creator. That's it. And if you want to be like God, you got to take on God's character, God's nature, and God's mind, and God's uh, thinking. That's it. And God's mind will transform you into God's. That's it. Wonderful. You won't be all divine. No. Oh, no. You won't be able to create something from nothing. No. You'll be able to walk on water as long as there's ice. <laughs> That's right. I, I want to pitch that in there. Pitch that in there. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Otherwise than that, Otherwise you're going to die like men. I have said you're God. The Bible said I say you're God. And all of you are children. All of you are children. Of the most high God. That's what that means. You are God. You are children of the most high God. But what's your end? But ye shall die like men. Mm-hmm. And you, fall. You, you're going to die. And fall. And fall. Like one of the princes. You see, God don't die. No. And there's no failure in God. No. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. You said Jesus Christ is God and Jesus died. That's right. That's but right. God didn't die. God no. was the spirit that was in him. That's right. The son of God died. Right. It is plainly written. He was put to death in the flesh. In the flesh. In the flesh. And was quickened by God. That's right. By the spirit. What you mean quickened by God? Quickened by the spirit. That's it. So the flesh that Mary birthed, that was the son of God, That's right. only begotten of the father, the Messiah, right. the apostle. Apostle, the prophet, the Lamb of God, sacrifice. That's it. The God of that flesh was the creator, was the father, was the divine nature, the eternal nature, the voice that speaks from heaven. That's it. And then God got in that nature and took it on. Took it on. And then offered it. That's it. Once for all. Once for all. Through the eternal spirit. That's it. All right, go back where you were to Abraham. Back in Joshua 9, I'm at verse 19. Listen at this. And Abram said unto himself, surely these are not God. Surely these are not God. That made the earth and all that mankind. That made the earth and everything in there. But these are the servants of God. These are the servants of God. And Abram remained in the house of Noah. Yes. And there knew the Lord and his ways. Wait a minute. He did what? And Abram remained in the house of Noah. You see, Abraham... Stayed in Noah's house. Noah's house. He knew Noah was a good teacher. Oh, yes. A lot of ignorant folk don't like to stay around a good teacher. That's right. They go run off. Run off. And follow or sit under a fool. That's right. And then repeat the knowledge they learned from a fool. That's right. And in their foolish mind, they think they're speaking wisdom, but they're simply displaying the thoughts of a fool. That's right. Listen at this. And Abram remained in the house of Noah. Uh -huh. And there knew the Lord and his ways. Yeah, there knew the Lord. They knew the Lord and his ways. And he served the Lord all the days of his life. Yes. And all that generation forgot the Lord. And served other gods of wood and stone. And rebelled all their days. Do you hear that? Amen. Now that generation is just like this generation. Like this generation. They are forgetting God. Oh yes. Moreover, they are forgetting God. forgetting God. And so many things now is coming into the lives of others. That's true. Replacing God. That's right. The only way something can replace God in your life, you value that thing more than God. That's right. God has been dwindled down. Yeah. To so little, so small, so cheap. Oh, yes. In the eyes of the people. Oh, yes. Many that come to church. Really not serving God. Many that go to church ain't thinking about doing God no service. That's right. Don't you know That's that right. this holy, sanctified lifestyle. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Is centered around rendering God a lifetime of service. service. That's right. It ain't just coming to church on a church day and then all of a sudden, well... Uh, you retire or you're not serving God. In fact, giving God true service is everyday reverence and everyday yes. obedience. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. <clears throat> now, the importance of hearing yes. and listening. That's Take right. heed how you hear. How you hear. That's it. You know, because many sit in church, <laughs> and that's what they do. Yes. Just come sit. Yeah. Don't learn nothing. 
No. They don't get nothing. No. They can watch a program and rem they can watch a movie and remember what the actor said <laughs> verbatim. That's right. As if they once came up to uh, try to play the role themselves. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 8 and verse 18. And can't even find Genesis 1-1. One, one. That's right. Can't even find Acts 2 38. That's true. Been in church, God knows, I don't know how long. <laughs> That's right. They're not there when they're there. Amen. Amen, God, you that are here, you that are listening. There should never be anything in your life Amen. so strong, yeah. so influential, yeah. that it have a greater influence over you than God Himself. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Everything around you one day going to pass away. Yeah. Everything, your wife, your husband, your children. Oh, yes. Your house, your bank account, your car, your clothing. That's right. All of it is gone. It's gone. But the Lord our God abideth, hallelujah, forever. Forever. And ever. That's right. And this is what I'm laboring to get the world to see. That's right. You have took God and dwindled him down to nothing. To nothing. When you can cuss God and cuss God out yeah. and make mockery of God, then uh, you have no respect for the Most High. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. But a day is coming and it's getting closer and closer. That's right. You gonna fear the fact that you're still living. Oh yeah. Fear gonna come over you. Oh yeah. And you're gonna hate the day you're still alive. That's right. Because you're gonna be burning. Burning. For your burn. Yes. My Lord. You got to stand before God. Yes. That's right. Imagine the one you teased, mm. the one you cussed. Oh yes. The one that you said was more than one. That's right. The one that you belittled and said there's another God with him. Oh, yes. Oh, he's too weak to create everything on his own. That's right. One false prophet said God need help. Imagine that. Imagine that. God mm. need, help. need help. Any God that need help is not the God of heaven. Oh, no. no. God of heaven is alone. That's right. By himself. That's right. Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God. Able to do anything and everything. But one thing he cannot do. Yes. He cannot contradict his own word. That's right. Amen. So therefore he can't lie. Cannot lie. Listen at this. Now in St. Luke chapter 8 and we're at verse 18. Follow me. Take heed therefore. Listen at this. Take heed therefore. Pay attention therefore. How ye hear. Amen. Take heed. There's more than one way to hear. That's right. You see, the Bible says, take heed how you hear, because a lot of us, the way we hear, mm -hmm. we haven't heard it. That's true. That's right. Did you get me? That's right. Yes. A lot of us, the way we hear, That's right. we haven't heard no. what we're listening to. That's right. That's why we walk away with all type of dumb understanding. Yes. Amen. Come up with scriptures that don't exist. Don't exist. That's why when, amen, uh, brothers read for me, some of them so busy trying to read like Williams, I got to shake it out of them. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's true. They mess up all over the Bible. They That's right. Call books of the Bible that God don't have. <laughs> That's right. Put things in the Bible that God ain't never said. Yes. Amen. They try to read so fast and read over the truth. Yeah. And then ad lib to the truth. That's right. Now tell them, all right, just a, just a minute, just a minute. Yeah, that's what you do. Come on back. That's right. Why? I don't want you to stand there with truth and lie on the truth. That's right. You do that to me. Sometimes. Yes, I do do that to you. That's right. Because sometimes Wins be so happy and so <laughs> zealous. <laughs> hey, man, he's almost like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I got to right. shake him. That's right. That's I, mean, right. I remember someone posting, tried to insult me and said, why he got to have a reader? He must don't know how to read. What? Yes, you if I don't know how to read, how can I quote? That's right. I quote from what I read. 
My Lord, my Lord. They try to get you, Pastor. Amen. They always trying, but it's always a strike, you know. That's right. But a lot of times I got to get weird and pull them back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's right. What did it say? That's right. Amen. Yeah, he'd be so happy. I thought, all right, let's, let's tone it down. Tone it down. Let's tone it down. Amen. Tone it down. Get out of them. I got to, I got to put all them 12. Get them out them 12 cylinders. Drop them down to eight. Drop them down to six. Drop them down to four. Take them out of that and give them a horse and buggy. Lord, give him a horse and buggy so he can take his time. That's right. And read. That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. Thank God. God, when you take your time, that's why I tell the world, Amen. follow me in the Bible. That's right. Follow me in the Bible. Go ahead. Follow me in the scriptures. That's it. That's right. right. That God, when you follow me, hallelujah, hallelujah. and the scriptures, you will hallelujah. see plainly that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. That's right. Huh? That's right. You will see that there's no other. No other. No God with them. No God before them. No God besides them. That's Neither right. shall they be after him. That's right. You will understand that the way to be born again is repenting of your old sins and oh, yeah. being baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and you will receive the Holy Ghost yeah. just like they did Go on ahead. the day of Pentecost. That's right. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Speaking in other tongues. That's right. Hallelujah. Go ahead. As a spirit. Go ahead. Oh, it's a God give utterance. That's right. You won't get it no other way. No oh, other way. You won't profess it no other way. That's right. You will profess a good profession. Yeah. Oh, it's a God before many witnesses. Amen. What did he say? Take heed, therefore. Pay attention, therefore. How ye hear. How ye hear. For whosoever hath. Whosoever hath. To him shall be given. To him shall it be given. And whosoever hath not. Him that don't have. From him shall be taken even that which he seemeth. To have. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Come on, Notice the language of the book. And whosoever has not. You see, a lot of folks think they have something. That's right. And you really don't have it. That's right. This is why it is written. There's a way that seemeth right. Seemeth right. Unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So even that which you seem to have, seem to have. he'll take that from you. And whosoever has not. Whosoever has not. Have not. From him shall be taken. From him shall be taken. Even that which he seemeth Even to have. Even that which he seemed right. to have. Seemeth to have. Yeah, take that from you. Now in Proverbs chapter 2, we start at verse 1. Follow me. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. Yes. So that thou incline thine ear. Incline thine ear. Unto wisdom. Wait a minute. Amen. What should I incline my ear to? That thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. You know, there's no excuse for people to be ignorant in the truth. That's true. With all of this social media and the truth of God where you can see 24 hours a day. Yeah. And get your Bible out. That's right. Amen. Take notes and follow and learn. That's right. And even though it's right at the people's fingertips. Yeah. They'd rather watch foolishness and folly. Yeah. And they'll learn that because that's more interesting. That's right. How is it? Uh, sometimes it seems like it's so hard for me to get through to the people. Mm. As time go on yeah. and the coming of the Lord get close. Yes. Judge yourselves. Yeah. Ask yourself, are you closer to God now? Yeah. Or are you further away from him now. That's right. Judge yourself. Judge yourself. Are you closer to God now than you were last year? Hmm. Or is there a gap right. between you and God that never exists? That's right. Glory to God. Judge yourself. Judge yourself. Until the word of God become top priority That's it. for the world. That's right. Glory to God. Your sins will always bring a gap. Or separate between but, you and God. But your iniquities. What? But your iniquities. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 59 and we're at verse 2. Your iniquities. Have separated. Have separated. Between you and your God. I'd rather be separated between people. Amen. Huh? Amen. Oh yeah, I'd rather be separate. I'd rather be separate but from people. Oh yeah. Than be separate from God. That's right. If someone would tell me today, I ain't talking to you no more. All right. That's right. Nah, it don't bother me now. That's right. But if God said, Jennings, you're not going to hear from heaven no more. I'm panicking. 
Oh, yes. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm dropping on my knees. I don't care how I look at people. I'm snotting. I'm crying. And him and I are going to have it out just like Jacob and the angel. That's right. Why? God is the greater thing. That's right. Ask yourself, where you are at in God? Where are you? Where are you? That's right. Where are you at in God? Amen. How weak are you now? Come on. Are you weaker this month than you were last month? That's right. Are you spiraling spiritually yeah. out of control? Amen. Is the devil take you over more than God? More than. Do you feel the devil using you more than God dealing with you? Go ahead. Who is your father? Go ahead. If God be God, serve him. Serve him. Serve him. If the devil be God, serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Serve him. That's right. Who do you feel dealing with you? Go ahead, man. Who have your mind the most? Go ahead. Who have your heart? Go to God. Go ahead. The most. Go ahead. Where are you? Know yourself. Amen. Know God, know yourself, and you better know the devil. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? But your iniquities have separated. What did he say? Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 2. What is it? But your iniquities, your iniquities have separated. Have brought a separation between you, between you and your God. That's who I want to be close to. I want to be close to God more than anybody. You know, it really don't bother me if I'm not close to people. Oh, that don't bother me. I don't care who you are. That's wonderful. Amen. Because people come, people go. That's true. Eh? That's true. One scripture says man changed like the moon. Like, like the moon. That's true. And the reason why man changed like the moon, you can look at the moon, and a lot of time people are like a crescent moon. Yeah. Light and darkness. That's right. Eh? That's right. And then sometimes people are, uh, when you see it, sometimes the moon is not necessarily crescent. But it's more dark than light. That's right. One scripture says, if your darkness, in so many words, out show your light, how great is that dark? Is that dark? Is that dark? How great is the Satan in you? That's right. That's right. How strong? How strong is it? Lord have mercy. Why you can't turn your plate down? That's right. For even three hours. That's right. And fast. What got you so weak? Yeah. Can't fast. The light of the body is the eye. Why you can't hardly pray? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What is it? What is it? How is it you can stay in television two or three and four hours watching anything else? That's right. But when it comes to the truth of God, you're knocked out sleep. That's right. That's right. Do you hear this? Matthew yes. chapter 6. We're starting I want you to 22. judge yourself by this message and judge yourself and see where you are. That's right. Listen. Matthew chapter 6. We're starting at verse 22. Parliament. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single. If your eye be single. Thy whole body shall be full of light. Your whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil. Your whole body shall be full of light. Mean your whole body will be full of God. That's right. Yes. But what? But if thine eye be evil. But if your eye be evil. Thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Your whole body shall be full of the devil. If therefore. If therefore. The light that is in thee be the dark. light that is in you be darkened. How great. We would say how bad. How great. How great. Is that darkness. How bad is that darkness. That's right. How, how much of the spirit of the devil in you. Amen. That you want your opinion to be heard more than what God says. That's right. How much is Satan in you? My Lord, my Lord. Where you want somebody to respect your ideology, your philosophy over God's oh, word. That's right. I'm going to take what God say over what everybody says. Yeah. That's right. All the time. All the time. If therefore the light. Do you hear this? Now in Matthew chapter 6, we're at verse 23. The world is in gross darkness. I mean darkness. Gross darkness. My religion, the devil, one of the greatest tools that the devil has used and are using now mm -hmm. is religion. Oh, yes. yes. He's using religion mm -hmm. to lead people to him. That's right. That's true. That's right. 
Are you listening? That's right. Oh, yeah. The devil is using religion Religions. to bring people mm -hmm. to him. Amen. He don't mind you going to church. What do he care? <laughs> no. And he'll pick you up. Oh, yes, he will. Send a friend to you. That's right. Bring you right to church. That's right. He don't care if you go to church and stay there all day. As long as you believe one lie, That's right. he know he got you sold up for hell. Amen. Huh? Amen. You baptized and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and yet under woman preacher. Under woman you preacher. baptized and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, yet you believe in two gods. Yeah. You can have the new birth. That's the introduction to the faith. That's right. But now you got to stand fast in the doctrine of the apostles, of the apostles. that keeps you in the faith. That's right. When you detour from that doctrine, that holy, sanctified teaching, yeah. that's not integrated with the ideology of men. No. no. Oh, no. You see, for it to be pure, it can't be mixed no. with the ideology or the feelings of bishop. That's right. That's right. I believe in pure holiness. Pure holiness. Yeah. Yeah, when you start mixing men's opinion up in it, it, it weakens it. Get oh, watered yeah. down. Oh, yes. You know, it's it just like if you have uh, uh, gasoline. Mm -hmm. You know, there's certain gas stations that you won't pay me to go to. That's right. Yeah, man, because they mix all that water in the gas. Oh, yeah. And you got more water in your tank than gas. Oh, yes. People look at the price, but they don't know what they're putting in the tank. That's right. They, oh, man, 50 cents. 50 cent a gallon. That's right. Yeah, what you putting in there? Old Thomas back in the day will get a whole jug of kerosene and pour it in their car. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and some will put liquor. Mm. Yeah, I've heard of old Thomas getting bottles of liquor, mm. put it in their car, oh. turn that engine and crank up. <laughs> all, the kids, all the engine know and there's some liquid in here. That's right. Some form of alcohol. That's right. Some form of strength is in here. Yeah. And that's the way many people are about church. They're looking at someone up there yelling, running around the church, yeah, right. jumping and hollering, leaping over pews, and tossing the name of Jesus any type of way. That's right. And you say I'm in God's house. My Lord. My Lord. That's why you got to hear. Oh, yes. When you hear and learn. Yes. Then you know what to do and how to do it. So that thou incline thine ear. Do you hear this? Back in Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 2. You incline thine ear. Thine ear. Unto wisdom. You see, I, I just don't have the patience to hear fools all the time. No. Always want to, inside of folk, want to take up your time with a bunch of foolishness. That's right. I, mean, I, I get sick of hearing the foolishness from a fool. <laughs> especially a grown fool. A grown one. That's right. They want you to hear the hear you in your forties and fifties and sixties and seventies and still talking and thinking like a fool. The talking of a fool. Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes, in the book of Ecclesiastes. You see, that's one of them books he was about to make up again. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's something when you think of something that not even God thought of. <laughs> the book of Cleia. What in the world is that? All right, get yourself together. Beg your pardon, Come on, Pastor. Mr. Williams. In the book of, of Ecclesiasticus, yes. chapter 21 and verse <laughs> 16. All right. The talking of a fool is like a burden in the way. Do you hear that? <laughs> Amen. The talking of a fool. Of a fool. Is like a burden. Is like a burden. In the way. That's right. Talking to a fool talking is like telling a pigeon to speak in tongues. That's right. And you know good and well that pigeon is not going to do it. No. Hey Amen. You no. can talk to a fool over and over and over and over and over. That's right. And many fools, not all, many mm -hmm. won't change. That's right. Because life would allow an experience to happen. Yeah. Even if that fool declared they change, mm -hmm. just wait. Just wait. Just wait. That's right. Life has a way of allowing a thing to happen when the old fool come back up again. That's right. And you can look at him or her and say, you the same fool. Same fool. You the same That's fool. Right. You ain't changed. Your mind ain't changed. Your attitude ain't changed. Your character not changed. And hell ain't going to change. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 21 and verse 16. What is it? The talking of a fool. The talking. 
talking. Give Williams some more juice back there. Crank him up. Crank Amen. Williams up good and loud. Amen. Amen. The talking. The talking of a fool. Of a fool. It's like a burden in the way. Have you ever talked to a fool and they just burden you? Burden you. I mean, they burn you. I mean, they just burn you down. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Until you don't want to hear them. <laughs> That's right. Amen. It just bothers you just to hear them. Bothers you. Sometime when a person got a reputation to be a fool, you see him come, you know, oh, oh there he is. Here comes the fool again. That's right. All right. The talking of a fool. Talking of a fool. It's like a burden in the like way. Like a burden in the way. But grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. But what shall be found in the wise? Grace. Grace. Shall be found. Shall be found. In the lips of the wise. All right. Go back to where you were. Incline thine ear. And then back let's in Proverbs. Get, take heed how you hear. Back in Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 2. And if any man hear these sayings of mine, we got to get all of that. All of that. Because <laughs> the clock is ticking, William. That's right. All right. Come on. Proverbs chapter 2, and I'm at verse 2. Yes. So that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. Now, how weak are you? Hmm. That somebody can come along mm -hmm. and give you false hope. That's right. False concepts. Amen. False doctrine. Yeah. False ideology. Oh, yeah. You see, I look past all that jumping and shouting and screaming and flapping our arms like they're in the mama's parade. Yes, you do. How sound are you That's in the faith? Right. That's right. How much, thank God, is the word of God getting in you? That's it. Where you're unmovable. That's right. In the faith. In the faith. Cannot be coerced, mm -hmm. manipulated, yes. conned yeah. by anyone. That's right. With anything until you turn against God's faith. That's right. When you find yourself in church, out of church, in holiness, out of holiness, in holiness, no, 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 no. You need for God to stabilize everything about you. In fact, you shouldn't be working on no auxiliary, no nothing. That's right. Amen. Don't be on no choir. Don't be on, amen, no usher. Don't play an instrument. No, nothing. Nothing. The first thing you need to do is be steadfast in God. A double-minded man because is Because you don't want to be in, out, in, out. You don't, listen, how many will drive with the person mm -hmm. who's all over the Roosevelt Boulevard? <laughs> Amen. Even in oncoming traffic. Lord. He's not only threatening his life. That's right. But he's threatening everybody else's. That's right. If you all over the place over. and not one with God. That's it. One with God. That's right. In the world, you want God to be there for you, and yet you're unwilling to be there with him. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Do you hear this? Now in James chapter 1 at verse 8. Parliament. A double-minded man. What? A double-minded man is unstable. And how much? In all his ways. Double-minded. How much? A double-minded man is unstable in all. The person I double-minded. Amen. All his ways. Uh, how much of a mess he or she going to be in? A double-minded man is unstable in all his all ways. All the time. All his ways. I can't. If I got a business and I'm going to give what I like giving a double-minded brother a whole bag of money that got to go to the bank. That's right. That's right. A whole bag of money. $500,000. Look, I need you to put this in PNC. Mm. Then I asked him, did you go by the bank? Yeah. I didn't <laughs> ask him the right question. That's right. Did you go in the bank and deposit it? That's right. You can go by the bank, keep going. Amen. If the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable, then how much? All his ways. Then I don't trust a double-minded person. No way. No. You can't. Because they're too sometimey. That's right. Unstable. 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 Amen. All right, listen. A double-minded man is unstable. You might as well tell the truth about yourself. How can you trust your own self when you know you're double-minded? That's right. We should want 
The trust of God. That's right. I want God to trust me. Hallelujah. Wonderful. I want God to trust me. Wonderful. The Apostle Paul said how God put me in trust with, with the, the gospel. gospel. That's right. Who would not want God to trust him? God's trust. Hallelujah. hallelujah. There was some confidence there that God had with Job. Oh, that he can unleash the devil on him. That's right. Think of it. Yeah. Ask the devil. Uh, have you thought of have you considered, servant. thought of, considered, Consider. my servant Job? Job. Yeah. How many here will want God to recommend you to the devil mm. for a fight? <laughs> Think now. Amen. How many here? Yeah, hear me, hear me good. Wouldn't mind God recommending you mm. to the devil? For a fight. For a fight. Because God got enough confidence in you that he know whatever you unleash on this man or on this woman, they're going to stay with me. That's right. That's Do you right. know what a beautiful feeling that is? Oh, yes. <clears throat> you want to get to a point in God that God can recommend you. That's right. Yeah. To the devil. Oh, yes. That's Go something. on and strip him out of everything. That's something. Take all his money. Take all his houses and land. Take his cars. That's right. Take his wife. Take his children. Come on, Jay. Take it. Take it. But I know he had never turned on me. Right. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. That's what we're preaching this gospel for. That's right. So you can get there. Get there. And you stand fast. That's it. Come on. That's it. Look how steadfast Paul was. Yeah. He said if an angel yes. come from heaven, from heaven and bring any other gospel mm. apart from what he preached, yeah. he denounced the angels the angel. and said let them be a curse. That's right. We don't just read this stuff. It is written for our learning. That's right. You want to get to a point in God. That's it. Where if God see the need, He can recommend you to the devil. That's right. And then give the devil charge to beat you unmerciful. That's right. And heaven know that when it's over, you're still there with God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I'm talking. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Wonderful. That's right. That's right. That's it. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. That's the type of hallelujah. That's the type of hallelujah. That's the type of steadfastness that you should want. That's right. Well, you can be a candidate to be recommended. Recommended. Amen. Amen. Job was a mortal man. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He wasn't no spirit. No. He was born of a woman. Just like we are. That's right. But for God to say. Mm. To Satan. Him. Do you hear this? Now in Job chapter 1. We'll start at verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan. And the Lord said to Satan. Hast thou considered my servant Job? Amen. Who what? That there is none like him in the earth. None. None like him in the earth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm. None like it. Imagine God recommending you to Satan. Amen. You can't even hardly recommend people to someone else. That's true. That's true. They're, they are turned on you. They will embarrass you. They will belittle you. Belittle you. 
They won't live up to their word. That's right. Glory to God. I believe what's written here. Oh, yes. Having a ear to hear, uh -huh. transform the mind when you take heed how you hear. How you hear. If your mind is the same way it was year in and year out, yes. you're hearing, mm -hmm. but you're not listening. That's right. That's right. Somebody say, what's the difference, Pastor Jennings? You can read and not study. That's right. If you study, you get more out of what you're reading. That's right. In fact, you in tune better. Oh, yes. You can hear, uh -huh. but not listening. Yeah. When you listen, you can properly identify what you hear. Yes. You recognize a backfire mm -hmm. from a 22. Come on now. You recognize... Speaking in tongue at the spirit give utterance yes. right. from a bunch of turkey farm talk. That's right. <laughs> from a bunch of Purdue chickens. Purdue yeah. chickens. You can recognize it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. Take heed. Take heed, therefore, back in Luke chapter 8. Don't go yelling amen, amen, amen over a preacher here. He ain't even got his words out yet. That's right. That's right. When you take heed how you, hear, how you hear, then when the women testify, they learn. You see, they got to learn first that the Bible says, have a meek and quiet spirit. Quiet spirit. Wherein in the sight of God, a great price. And that way, you won't even be mistaken for a woman preacher. That's right. Do you hear? First Amen. Peter third chapter. First Peter third chapter, and we're at verse four. Says what? But let it be the hidden man. Let of it the be heart. the hidden man of the heart that in which is that not corruptible. What is it? Even the ornament of what? Of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. You got an auditorium of five and six thousand people, and some folks say, "Oh, well, you know, we can't hear her, or we can't hear him." <laughs> you really expect for five thousand people to hear one person testifying without a mic? And even if they do got a mic, because sometimes I hate to give somebody a mic. They don't know how to take it. <laughs> That's right. They don't know how to put it down. That's true, they too. They get all, it's called mic hype. <laughs> That's right. They get all hype with the mic. Someone go That's told right. me, hold it. Well, to have a meek and quiet spirit. That's what the Bible says. Even the ornament. It's an ornament. When you got a meek and quiet spirit, that's an ornament. An ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Which is in the sight of God of great price. You ain't testifying, quoting scriptures, telling the church, say amen and all that stuff. To, you ain't doing that. No. You testify short, precise, to the point, and don't keep going on repeating. Well, saints, you can't tell it all. Then stop trying. That's right. <laughs> amen. There ain't a time for a brother to try to put his little sermon in on a slide. That's right. <laughs> testify what God done for you. That's and it. you going to the supermarket, squeezing turnips, getting marshmallows, picking out stream beans, getting ham hocks, and all that stuff ain't got nothing to do with it. Has nothing to do with it. All right, That's listen right. to the old man. That's right. Take heed. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear. If, you, if you're not paying attention to the lessons, then you're going to keep repetitiously doing same the thing. Same, thing same thing year in and year out, sitting in the church 5, 10, 15 years and learn nothing. That's right. Learn absolutely nothing. Learn nothing. The Bible says ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Back in St. Luke chapter 8 and verse 18. That's what? Take heed therefore how ye hear. Yeah, if any man, let's get that. Amen. Heareth these sayings of mine. In Matthew chapter 7 and verse, verse 24. And do them. Therefore whosoever. Whosoever. Heareth these sayings of mine. And what? And doeth them. See, you got something to hear. One what says, says, not only be a hearer but a doer. A doer. I am inclined to believe there's some people you're really just wasting time with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. It's a waste of time. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it's a sad thing to get up and age and it's, it's, it's a waste of time. Yes. <laughs> Amen. 
Hear this. Matthew chapter 7, I'm at verse 24. What is it? Therefore, whosoever heareth, whosoever. whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. Wait a minute. Yeah. When I was a child, I heard what my mother and father told me. I had my hard hair days, but as I got older, I learned. Yeah, I learned, man. I respect my parents. It doesn't matter because I had a job. I still live under their roof. I had things to do under that roof. That's right. I wasn't allowed to come in from work and go to bed. Yeah. Come in from work. Gene, you get that trash? That's right. That's right. I tell, if I tell my father I'm tired, he say, I don't want to hear about you're tired. I got three jobs. Nice, Amen. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? Oh, yes. So as a child, as I got older, mm -hmm. I began to understand the value of listening, listening. and doing. Nice. Why? So it can pay off years later. That's right. This is what people are not doing. Yeah. They don't listen now, and then years later, they wish they would have. Right. I'm trying to get us out of saying woulda, coulda, shoulda. That's right. Because many of us is already living the woulda, coulda, shoulda life. That's right. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, if, yes. if we would examine ourselves, many of us can look back of the woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda, and we can't change the woulda, coulda, shoulda. <laughs> no. But we can do better now. That's right. If you simply listen. Listen. Get me what I'm telling you. Therefore, whosoever heareth these things. Therefore, whosoever. Hear I don't care who you are. No, whosoever. Whosoever hear these sayings of, say of mine and do with them. Do I don't it. care what kind of job you have. God better be top priority and first. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's right. Amen. Yeah. God first. Everything else second. Right. Did you hear what I tell you? Oh, yes. Yeah. God first. Yeah. Everything else second. Boy, girl, husband, wife, I don't care what it is. God first. Your career, God first. If you put God first, yeah, help you be successful in your career. Starting your own business. If you, hallelujah. If you put God first, God will bless your business to be successful. I'm a witness to it. Nobody can convince me otherwise I was raised. And that was inserted in me as a child. As I got older, I made up my business to live by that cold. Amen. And the windows of heaven opened up to me ever since. Amen. God first. I never saw nothing or got involved in nothing that threatened God being first. Right. Amen. That's right. When I met my wife, I was 14, and she was jumping rope that great double dutch day. Come on! Come on! That was the great double dutch day. Nice! Go ahead, Amen. man. <laughs> Amen. I, I, and I was mesmerized. But out of all that <laughs> stuff, Let's that I saw jumping rope, oh, Lord. I wasn't going to let that interfere with my relationship with God. That's right. You have to get to a point in your life where you realize it ain't nothing worth interfering with your relationship with God. That's right. Nothing. Nothing. Two things either going to happen. Either that thing going to pull you or you going to pull it. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. Therefore, whosoever heareth. And when you find that thing pulling a direction away from God, and here you already had God before you had it, cut it loose. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it loose, I said. Oh, yes. That's why many of these preachers for years 10, 20, 30, 40 years have never gained no ground because they wouldn't cut a lot of false prophet friends loose. That's right. They just kept mingling with them, kept right. playing with them, false doctrines, kept compromising, 
kept bargaining, kept bargaining. And that's the way it was in the false church I came out of. Yeah. He oh, yeah. wouldn't turn the false prophets loose. Turn them loose. Somebody got to be turned loose. Either false prophets that's or right. God. That's right. Either friends, so called, so or God. That's right. I'd rather turn you loose. Oh, yes. Quick. Oh, yes. And then hold on to God and wrestle with him like Jacob did. That's right. What he said. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and, I, and doeth them, and do them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Wait a minute. If you hear these sayings of mine and do them, how does God look at you? I will liken him unto a wise man. Wise. wise. You got a wise father, you that do, listen to him. Listen to him. I miss my father. God knows I miss him. Oh, if that yeah. man was living today, I think he'd be about uh, 97 or 98. Wow. But his wisdom. Wonderful. A lot of time I was sitting in his study, he would talk. I would just sit quiet. Listen. He's always in one position. Bible on his lap. Notebook. Writing. Every single day for hours. He was not a television man. Once in a while, he'll look at his cowboys when they get to shooting, he's sitting there moving. <laughs> when he get time. Otherwise, in that, most of his time, Bible. Night! And I would sit and ask him questions. Or he'll sit and make me aware of things. But his wisdom helped shape and mold my character. God knows when you had wisdom and then it's not around you no more, you miss it. Yeah. Especially when it was worthwhile. Yeah. That's right. The day you can sit and give people good wisdom, they still won't pay you no mind. Pay no mind. Until the Bible says ever learning That's right. and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, they just get older and older right. and older and still think like a child. That's true. Don't have no wisdom to impart to their own children. Right. In fact, many of them are just as blind and dumb as the children. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No enlightenment. Amen. Sit down the word of God with no enlightenment. He that is not wise. Hear this. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 21 and verse 12. He that is not wise. Will not be taught. You might as well give the benediction there. <laughs> Amen. He that is not wise will not be taught. Can't tell him nothing. That's right. That's true. Amen. Young man bringing young lady to the house on, and mother and father can see what he can't. He's so fascinated with her. Yeah. What you think? What you think? What you think? And then if father and mother say, no, no, you, you don't want to go there. Yeah. He's looking at his heart. That's right. He ain't looking at wisdom. No. A lot of times they go on and run and get married from the heart. From yeah. Not from wisdom. That's yeah. right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Oh, That's yeah. true. That's true. One of the biggest lies that been told people for years is follow your heart. If you follow your heart, you might as well open up the gates of hell and do a jackknife dive into it. <laughs> That's right. But the Bible says the heart is the most deceitful thing, deceitful thing. and it is desperately wicked. Desperately. There are people today that follow their heart and they regret it today. That's right. That's true. Don't follow your heart. Follow Bible. That's it. Follow scripture. That's it. That's right. That's right. Ask God to allow scripture to discipline your heart. And then you won't be all over the place with your emotions. Oh, yes. You'll put God first and he'll stay there. Yeah. That's right. You'll stay here till you die. That's right. Are he you getting that, what I'm telling you? He that is not wise. He that is not wise. Will not be taught. Amen. 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 He that is not wise. Will not be taught. Have you ever received good advice? When you was younger uh -huh. and you didn't take it, 
And now you're suffering the repercussions of it. Even if it was 10, 20, 15, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 years ago. If it was yesterday. Even yesterday. That's true. Get me. He that is not wise will not be taught. He that is not wise will not be taught. You can't teach him nothing. No. That's right. What is it? But there is a wisdom which <laughs> multiplieth bitterness. There is a wisdom which multiplies that increase bitterness. See, that type of wisdom, a fool called wisdom. Right. It'll multiply the bitterness of your life. Bitterness. In other words, you will hang around fools and their advice to you is wise, but it will make your life bitter. Bitter. That's right. You would think you are accomplishing things and gaining ground, and all the ground you gaining, you're sinking. Yeah. Yes. If I'm accomplishing things naturally, right. and yet I'm sinking spiritually, sinking. I ain't gaining nothing. That's right. That's true. That's true. Do you hear me? That's true. That's if true. I'm accomplishing a lot naturally, naturally. But spiritually, I'm not gaining no ground. Yeah. I ain't doing nothing. No. Jesus said, seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God and his righteousness. his righteousness. He said it, I believe it. That's right. How long must I seek him first? Continuously. Continuously. Don't stop. Wonderful. Don't wait till you get a little bit blessings and then all of a sudden they interfere. With your consistency of seeking God. Nice Them little bit blessings you got. That's right. Where's your hunger and thirst after what's right? After righteousness. The Bible says he that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. I never want my appetite to be diminished. No. By what God give me. That's I right. want to be greedy for God. Greedy. That's right. Greedy. Wonderful. Get to a certain point in God, I want to get higher than that. Yes. Get That's to right. that point in God, I want to get higher than that. Yes. Got to that point in God, I want to get higher than that. Hallelujah. Go and say God. That's right. No one said, is that Bible? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jesus said the spirit is not given out by, by measure. measure. By measure. Without measure. Without measure. Hallelujah. Accomplish one thing in God, come back again. Come on, Accomplish another thing in God, come back again. Yeah. Yeah. Many of us just come to church That's is right. in the same rut. That's right. Year in, year out. Are you listening? He that is not wise will not be taught. When you're not wise, anybody can tell you nothing. Tell you nothing. You got to listen to someone that's wise other than your mama <laughs> and your daddy. That's true. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some of us is more quick to listen to a woman or a man. Yes. Any old woman. Any old, Any old crazed man. Yes. Where take the word of God and just throw it under the rug. Yeah. Oh, yes. We're going to listen to a woman 20 hours in one day. Especially when she's saying everything you want to hear. Yeah. You do good if they can pay attention to God's word 30 minutes. That's right. Why? Something's going to say that the flesh don't want to hear. Yeah. Nice, Jay! Glory to God, I got a tough job on my hands. You got a tough job. Trying to get people to see it is in nothing in the world more important, more valuable than God. Than God. Where the world preaches is leading you to anything and everything else. That's right. I'm laboring to lead you to God because heaven and earth is going to pass away from here. That's right. And you hold on to anything here, you going with it. Oh, yes. The, the knowledge of a wise man. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Shall abound. It'll take you over. Yeah, that's right. 
And what? And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. His counsel is like a pure is like a pure fountain of life. Of life. The inner parts of a fool. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. Uh, then why? You know, they always make a bunch of noise. That's right. Broken vessel. Broken vessel. In other words, all the good information that they had in them. It'll leak right out. And he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. Shaking, jumping, behind the pews jumping. <laughs> That's right. Oh Holding God. on to the back of the pew and winging it. Holding on. <laughs> you know, some of them hold on to that pew and do the chicken wing. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But yet, he when they come to the word of God, he will hold no knowledge. As long as he lives. Busy looking at his little bank book. Got a few dollars now. That's true. When you die, you can't take it with you. No. Death angel all around you, but you don't see it because you're blinded by your little numbers. Oh, yeah. Amen. Glory in the neighborhood you live in. I wouldn't care if you live next to Archie Bunker. <laughs> When that stuff blinds you to the reality of to God, you are you're what? How broken are you? Yes. The inner parts of the a fool. Inner, your inner parts. Inner parts. Of a fool. Are like a broken vessel. You're broken. And he will hold no knowledge as the proof, long as Proof he that you're not holding knowledge. Nothing that we possess should change our character. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. Brother Nate, come to me. Pastor Dennis, I just made settlement. Settlement on what? Oh, man, there was a case I was fighting with for 20 years. And they gave me $67 million. Whew. Well, God bless you, Nate. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say to him. God bless you, Nate. I, I would advise him not get up in church with them two maracas Yelling, I'm 67 million richer. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Don't do that, Nate. <laughs> no. You'll right. get relatives you never had. That's right. That's right. You'll get relatives you never had. Amen. Amen. I went to God for the success of all God's people. But if success naturally yeah. uh -huh. going to cause you to be lost. In fact, it's a prayer that I have prayed. Yeah. Lord, anything yeah. wonderful, wonderful. I have ever asked of you naturally, if that thing going to cause me to be lost, don't give it to me. Amen. I praise that. Amen. That's how bad I want to make the first resurrection. Wonderful. Doesn't matter how bad I want it, or it doesn't matter how bad I need it. Mm. If it's going to cause me to be lost. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Don't give it to me. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Yes. Hallelujah. Many of us are lost. Come in the church. That's true. Because what we possess, yes. it now it possess us. Presence and gifts blind the eyes. What? Presence and gifts. Presence and gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise. It blind the eyes of the wise. They lose their wisdom. And stop up his mouth. It shut his mouth. That he cannot reprove. Now, he cannot say the things that he used to say because now that he got it, it got him. That's right. He yeah. glory in it. That was Ecclesiastes chapter 20 and verse 29. See, you can, God can bless you to be wealthy yeah. and remain wise. It wasn't Solomon materialistic things that destroyed him. No. It was his love for wild women. Wild women. It wasn't just women. It was a certain kind of women. That's right. Idolatrous. Yes. Idol worshippers. Yeah. I know women was done with him. They had him building back up the idols he destroyed. Can you imagine? Here's God appeared to this man. 
And God warned him about certain kind of women. In the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13 and verse 26. That's what? Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? What? Yet among many nations was there no king like him. Yeah. Who was beloved of his God. And what? And God made him king over God all Israel. Made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Even him. Even him. Did outlandish women. Did outland. Certain kind. That's right. Outlandish. Outlandish women. Cause to sin. Amen. Them that were idol worshippers. Now imagine that. How you going say you want to be saved and you pursuing a sinner woman? Mm. How you going to say God is first and yet you're interested in a sinner woman? Sinner woman. Here you ain't hardly serving God as it is. That's right. <laughs> and you're giving this sinner woman more time than God until you with her at the same time you're supposed to be in church. That's right. Or you with her when you say you're at work. Yeah. He can call you. Oh, I need you here. My back door broke. <laughs> My back door broke. My back door broke. Then you lie. I got to go to work. And then God allows something to happen one day while you're there. Amen. Or on your way there. Yeah. Make your tires come off your car or your truck. What? Hospitalize you. Yeah. That's true. Put God first. That's Learn right. to listen and hear. Yeah. It'll keep you out of hell. Yeah. It'll keep you out the grave. That's right. Too early. That's right. What did he say there? He that hath an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. That was Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. So Solomon wealth didn't kill him. Yeah. Nevertheless. Them, them fool women did. Outlandish women. But certain kind. That's right. Nothing clean about them women. No. They was outlandish. And all, they was all idolaters, idol worshippers, and all of that foolishness. Oh, yes. Yeah. Disrespectful, mean-spirited, evil, full of hell. That's right. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 26. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? What? Yet among many nations were there no king like him. Yes. Who was beloved of his God. Then what? And God made him king over all Israel. God should be top priority. Amen. We go to a ball game and sit at a ball game. Yeah. Same night. Same church night. is going on. Same night. And they don't even move us. So they had a ball game with some old fast girl. And some old sloppy mouth boy. That's right. That's right. Tuesday night, Thursday night. Won't be in church though. That's right. Be at her house. Then come to your home the next morning. Say you had to work overnight. And here's the death angel right behind you. You don't even see it. That's right. Until God get tired of you and just cut you off. Oh, yes. Get me. Yes. And God made him king over God all Israel. God made him king. Over all Israel. God made him king. Amen. Amen. If my wife didn't want God when I met her, I wasn't willing to take her. I told her straight up, you don't want to be baptized or receive the Holy Ghost. The only wedding bells you will hear, I told her to her face, is the good humor man coming up the street ringing that truck. Ding, 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 ding. I meant it just as sure as Jesus Christ was God. That's right. God first. Yes. That's right. Are you getting it? Oh, Amen. Yes. God can give you another husband. God can give you another wife, but you can't get another God. No. no. Right. You can't get another God of heaven. That's Not right. at all. That's right. Amen. Amen. So there's many of you. Not you're baptized, some of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, you ain't a bit more tiring for the Holy Ghost. 
Many of you baptized, not even seeking the Holy Ain't seeking nothing that got to do with the Holy Ghost. You got more holes in your T-shirt. Nothing. Amen. I know where you expect to be successful putting God on the back burner. Amen. Who are you? That's right. Where you became so much, so high. That's right. That God, you going to put him on a back burner yeah. and put some woman or some boy in front of God? Oh, yeah. Or your job or your career in front of God? That's right. God said, thou shalt have no other God, God before me. Before me. That got your wife, that got your husband, that got your children. That's right. That's right. I have no other God. That's right. He said, I'm a jealous God. Yes, God. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. In Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. Or any likeness of anything. That is in heaven above. Heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath. And what? Or that is in the water under the what earth. What else? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to No what? Nor serve thee. Why? For I the Lord thy God am a jealous God. Yeah. Jealous. You make God jealous, he's going to move on whatever you got. He's going to move on. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Look at wife, look at husband from the Bible. You in love with dust. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I don't say I'm more than that, Pastor Jen. No, you ain't. No, you're not. No. God says dust go back to dust. That's if you right. think you're more, you's a fool. That's right. Who? Everybody. Everybody. That's right. When she get pregnant, she's carrying dust. That's right. At the right time, dust come out. Right. And then little dust grow up to hard hair dust. A little ball of clay come in different colors. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. A little ball of clay come out in different colors. That's right. A little clay and mud weigh different. Some of them weigh seven pounds, eight pounds, five pounds, ten pounds. But when it's all over, that dust is going back. Going back. And everybody under the sun is going to have to stand before God. That's right. He either going to accept you or reject you without negotiation. Yeah. And that's the way I believe it. Accept it or reject it ain't wasting time with negotiation. That's right. And when you bring it like that, they say you're cold blooded. Who cares? <laughs> Jesus is coming. That's right. How bad do you want to make the first resurrection? Oh, yeah, what will you give in exchange for your soul? For your soul? What are you willing? To lose your soul over. over. What are you presently losing your soul over? That's right. Examine yourself. Yes. Many are scared to pray. Lord, if I ask you for something, if it's going to cause me to be lost, don't give it to me. That's a safe prayer. Yes, it is. Amen. That's right. That way, if God give me something, he know whether I can handle it or not. Right. It's a safe prayer. God can bless you abundantly. God have blessed my wife and I abundantly, but I can't enjoy it like I want to because of this job. It takes me from it. Hallelujah. Sent me to the world to preach it. That's right. So I really can't enjoy it like I want to what God blessed me with. I only enjoyed in little spurts, and the next thing I know, gone. Time to save demons. <laughs> eh? Yeah. That's true. Trying to deliver folk from being demons. They come over here on God's side. Someone say, I'm no demon. All right, what's that working in you? That working in you. That's right. Some of you been, some of you are not really buckling down, tired from the Holy Ghost, and you know you're not. Church going on, you somewhere fishing. Church going on, you somewhere at a baseball game, football game. And church going on. Convention going on, and you sitting at some old girl house. Can't be at a convention, but you can spend at a night at your friend whole house. Nice day. 
Is that's how cheap you belittle God? When did God get that cheap in your life? When do God become so worthless? The true definition of life is God. Without God, nobody has life. That's right. You ain't got no life without God. I'm telling you, if you put God first, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you. Go ahead. I came up in a household that I witnessed it. I witnessed my mother and father do this literally all my life. And I watched what God done. And I learned that. My father pounded in me. Put God first. He would tell me, Jane, put God first. Don't you ever drop God second for nothing and nobody. Nice. Never. Nice. So I lived by that code. Yeah. Wonderful. And the windows of heaven opened up for me. And God be my help, I will continue to live by that code. Because I don't want heaven never close and get locked. That's right. That's right. If you don't put God first. That's right. And stop putting God second here, second there, second there. Some of y'all lives is having so much havoc is because the way you do God. Bible said don't be unequally yoked. Girl ain't thinking about church. You sit right there, she's smoking your face, she's drinking your face, mm-hmm. and if she don't do that, heaven knows what she do in your face. You, well, she don't want to come to church yet. Okay, let her stay home. You get your britches there and save yourself from hell. That's right. That's right. I repented of my sins at six years old. My mother or father did not coerce me to be baptized. I understood what baptism was. Yes. And I heard the message, hallelujah, and was convicted. Hallelujah. Went down in war in the name of Jesus Christ. God started dealing with me before I became ten. I remember one particular day I was about ah, maybe seven or eight years old. My mother bought me those, you know those shorts? In the 70s they had all them zippers on them, yeah. them camping shorts. Yeah. Bought them from Lit Brothers. We got zippers everywhere. Yeah. Make you feel like a little man, like you hook some keys yeah. here and all that. Yeah. Father would give me keys he don't need no more. I had them on here on a little chain when they'd be jingling, brother. <laughs> we had six o'clock prayer, hallelujah, in our house every day. Yes. And uh, my father, I don't care whether I'm playing ball or whatever, the moment he'd come outside, Jane, yes. everybody in the block knew. They would say, it's six o'clock. <laughs> Everybody knew it. The fish man will come up Jerome Street. I got fish, pogues, yep. pogues, <laughs> fish. That's right. And if he happened to come up and it's six o'clock, he'd get over his megaphone and tell, I right, wait, 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 wait a minute, y'all, wait a minute. Can't buy no fish yet. He'll come in our house. He said, I'm going to Jenna's house. It's prayer. Wonderful. And then after prayer, he'll come back out. I got more fish. <laughs> I got more pogies. Yes. Old hands that's from Philadelphia. Remember the gang, the Moroccos. That's right. Many of the Moroccos would be in our house in prayer. I remember there were two twins, Ray and Rayford. 
<laughs> You're talking about two fellows that was good with their hands. They were so good with their hands it was pathetic. One day they, they, they happened to be at the house. They was hanging out with my third oldest brother, Rick. And in the hood, Rick was called Block. There yeah, it was Rayford, Ray, Melvin, and several others. Daddy came down and says, all right, time for prayer. Yeah. Ain't no need for you trying to run to the door. <laughs> there ain't no running to the door. All right, everybody jam back, either in the living room or dining room. And i never forget it. Man, we had prayer. And the Holy Ghost fell on Rayford. Straight street man. Holy Ghost fell, i never forget it. That thing, he was scared. He started holding himself, speaking in tongues. He ain't know what we was looking. Spirit hit him again. Oh. Speaking in tongues. Mm. As a child, it was grilled in me. God first. As a man, I'm grilling in you. That's it. God first. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Hallelujah. God must Thank be God. first. Go ahead. Thank you, Jay. Hallelujah. 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 God must be. Thank you, Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Some been struggling with things for years. And you know what have made some of these struggles long term? It's because of your sometiminess with God. God first, then he dropped down. God first, then he dropped down. And what make God drop down in many of our lives is when a prayer been answered over materialism. Yeah, right. That's true. We get little things that we want, a car or a house, or making money we never made before. Our everything changed. That's right. Yep. That's true. Your sincerity towards God, your drive towards God. Your commitment towards God. You don't even feel as obligated. You don't even feel the need right. to be obligated because you are distracted by other things. Yeah. Book of Mark, quick so I can knock off. That's right. Follow me. That's right. Chapter 4, book if of, I'm correct. Yes, book of St. Mark, chapter 4, and verse 19. All right. And the cares of this world. The cares of this world and the deceitfulness tricks. of riches. The tricks. Of riches and the lust of other and the things. desire for other things entering in. What does it do to you? Choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. What does it do to you? Choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. Notice how you gonna choke the word if you don't have it. That's right. That's right. You're getting the word, and the very thing you're getting now, the world got a stranglehold on you. Right. Chokes the word, and how are we? And it becometh unfruitful. The word become unfruitful, meaning you ain't getting nothing from That's it. Right. Nothing from it. Nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Prioritize. That's right. You get a Bentley, okay. That's right. You get a Rolls Royce, fine. Yeah. Hey, look, that's your business. That's right. If you can afford it, that's you. That's your business. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you got a mansion that got 13,000 toilets. That's a lot of plumbing. That's a lot of cleaning. <laughs> but that's your business. When you die, what can you take? If I'm going to die, let me die on God's side and God first. That frame of mind that way of thinking and that attitude that the Lord had blessed me with made me unafraid to lose anybody Wonderful. and anything. That's right. Wonderful. Your attachment should be so great Hallelujah. between you and God. You fear losing him. More than anybody. Right. 
or anything else. That's right. Think of God recommending you. Like he recommended Job. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine having that soundness, that steadfastness, that strength, that firmness yeah. that the Lord can recommend you to the devil. That's right. And then give the devil permission to unleash what he please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Because God knows, oh, she ain't going nowhere. That's right. He ain't going nowhere. You can beat, hallelujah, on, you can man. beat them down long as you want. But I got him. Got him. And in the midst of all, he's mine. That's right. That's right. Change the way you think. Reevaluate your commitment. Look over your life and see who are you committed to? Who is first on your list of commitment? And don't loosely say God if you find yourself more committed to some man or woman that outdo your commitment to God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Yes. God first. If God ain't first in your life and you die, you're going to hell. You that are watching, That's if right. God ain't first and foremost. More than any house, any woman, any man, any child, any car, any piece of clothing. Right. If God is not first, you're living a life in vain. That's true. That's right. He that has an ear. He that, back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. He that has an ear. An ear. Let him hear. Let him. It didn't force him. Oh, let him. No. Let him mean it's up to you. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Let them hear what the Spirit, what God saith unto the church, is saying to the church. God is warning you. He see the people have chose other things over Him. Yeah. He see His own people are distracted. You better finish up Mark quickly. Back finish Mark, that up. Back in Mark chapter four, we'll start at verse eighteen. Read fast. And these are they which are sown among thorns. Come on. Such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches. And the lust of other things entering in choke the word. And what? And it becometh unfruitful. I don't want the word of God to become unfruitful no. in me. Unfruitful. It's like planting seed in the ground and yet what you plant, nothing grow. That's right. You want to see something about the word of God yes. materialize. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> when I came up, us young people, man, we were excited talking about how we received the Holy Ghost. This one talking, man, you was, how you, man, when did you receive the Holy Ghost? Man, expressing our experience to each other. Yeah. You don't hear hardly those conversations oh, no more. Not, not no much. Way. Not much. Amen. Yeah, then died out. Yeah. Then got preoccupied with yeah. other things. Other things. I'm not talking about being overzealous. No. Right. I ain't talking about that. That's right. I'm not talking about every day I see you, you telling me how you got the Holy Ghost. I ain't talking about that, no. <laughs> That's right. When you're overzealous, you don't went too far. You don't OD'd on it. You don't OD'd. And then you don't know what you're doing. That's right. How you doing, brother? I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I know you got it. Well, brother, how you feeling today? I received the Holy Ghost speaking in town. <laughs> hey, brother, listen, uh, can you tell Brother Williams uh, to meet me in the office? Okay, I will, Pastor Jenny, but remember, I received the Holy Ghost speaking in town. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, they got scalpers that got to take down the man on the tour. I'm all right, Pastor Jenny, I go up there, but I receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. I got it, 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 I got it. You're an overzealous fool. Yeah, you're overzealous. When you're overzealous, won't be for long, you won't have it. That's true. Seeing that you got to take your time now while you have it. That's right. Nice. Stop being overzealous. Yeah. An overzealous person won't make a good husband or a good wife. That's no. Right. Amen. 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 If you're over there, yes, yeah, you won't make a good, you won't even make a good brother or good sister. That's right. Because you will be a judgmental junkie. Yeah. That's right. Over there, yes. Someone ain't on their knees. They on their knees praying and to you. They ain't down there long enough. You busy watching them how long you got to pray. Yeah. Worry about your own rusty knees. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right, listening. Amen. Amen. Take your time. Take your time. 
It doesn't matter how encouraged you are from the message. Take your time. Right. Don't run ahead of the Bible. Right. Walk according to the Bible. Remember what the Apostle John said by the Spirit. Give chapter and verse again so I can knock off. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. He that hath an ear. That hath an ear. Let him hear. Let him hear. What the Spirit saith yeah. unto the church. All right, sinners. Spirit is talking to you too. Spirit talking. Repent of your sin. You've been watching this program. And you know you're on your way to hell. You do. You know the way you're living. And you know if you come here, you're going to get it straight from the hip. That's right. You know you're going to get it straight. You ain't going to pull no punches. With it. No slap boxing in here. No. This is all body box Bible. That's right. Body box Bible. That's right. Huh? The triple B's. Body box Bible. Ain't no slapping boxing. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We step to you and put it right to your soul with Bible. That's it. Knock the woman preacher out the pulpit. Knock you into water. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Repent. Repent. That's Be baptized it. in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. Let the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues, as the Spirit of God give utterance like he did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Amen. Then take your time and learn. learn. Be taught the way of holiness. Peter said what in Acts 2 38? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. God wants you to be sorry about your sins. You just living together, not married, that's here. I'm glad you're here. But you that are shacking up, I want to tear your shack down. Tear it down. Amen. Tear your shack that's down right. until either he pack up and leave or you pack up and leave. That's it. But one of y'all have to go. Yeah. So you don't go to hell. You're going to have to leave now. That's right. Amen. Amen. Amen, I said. Amen. Well, Pastor Jenna, what am, well, Pastor Jenna, it's her place. Go back to your mama. Back to your mama. Go back to your mama. That's right. Amen. Hear me, God. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You're not getting around this to save your life. No, no. You can go back home to Gertrude all you want. Going back to Trudy. But you got to come back to Bible. That's right. You and Miss Trudy got to come back to Bible. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. In the name of Yay! Jesus Christ. What? For the remission of sin. And what? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be baptized the right way. The Bible way. Right. In the name of Jesus Christ, so you can get on God's side, stand on your feet if you want it. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. All of you that are standing, follow those brothers out there. And if there's any sisters, follow those sisters there. Yeah. All right. We thank God for all of you. God gave us all something good. Who called me? Huh? All right. We thank God for all of you. Let us all stand. Come on, son, so I can pray for you. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, look down upon my son. Let your peace and mercy be upon him. Stand by him and be with him and mold him and make him what you desire him to be. Pardon every transgression, blot out every iniquity, give healing to his body in every manner. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, give him victory over the powers of the enemy. That he may have one mind, one heart to be focused that when you come, he may be kind of willing to go back with you. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is God Almighty. Let every heart say amen. amen. Remain standing, please, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and keep you and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen. amen. Everybody be back, God willing, at uh, 530. God be our helper.